This Fishing Report is brought to you courtesy of Tackle HD. Here's Matt Fielder with the latest look at Table Rock Lake. Hi guys, this is Matt Fielder with MJF Guide Service and Modern Outdoor Tackle, giving you your early October fishing report for Table Rock Lake. The lake level is 910.21, which is about seven foot low of summer pool. They haven't, you know, made it uh, winter pool time yet. Um, but that is 915 is normal winter pool and it's still low so it'd be five foot low of normal winter pool but we're seven foot low of summer pool the lake is way down I don't think I've ever seen it this low um, it takes a lot of that cover that you guys may be used to seeing on the bank off the bank so like you know not on a flood stage but that those normal you know stumps and, and lay downs and stuff like that a lot of that stuff's out of the water so you're gonna have to really search for some of that cover that's on the bank um, to be able to get some bites right now if you're gonna be fishing the bank um, and one good way right now to catch catch fish it's no secret got to be throwing a top water this is a Berkeley Chapo um, this is a, a bone color. Um, it's been my best color for me. A lot of people like black. Um, the bone has been working the best for me. Um, but the thing is, guys, you've got to cover a lot of water. Don't think you're just going to go down one bank and just every cast you're going to catch them. I mean, that's just not the way it is. You will find, you know, little flurries or little like stretches where you'll be catching, you know, a, a couple of fish here and there. Uh, in that stretch it may be a hot stretch but don't think you can just roll down any bank at any time and just catch them left and right that's just not the way it is you just gotta put your head down grind and just get with it um, you may go through an entire pocket or an entire creek and then you know no bites no bites and then all of a sudden bang 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 so and then I, I just you know there's no real rhyme or reason to it um, the fish are real scattered out especially the largemouth, in my opinion. I mean, they're just, I mean, everywhere. They could be in the backs of the creek, some are at the fronts of the creeks, middle of the creek. I've been catching them kind of everywhere uh, on, on the uh, moving uh, top water, the chopo. Um, a whopper plopper will work, a buzz bait, if you'd rather throw a buzz bait, that's been working pretty good. Um, another thing I've been doing a lot is throwing a walking bait. This is a uh, shower blow. Uh, this is a 125 size. I also throw it in the 105 size. Um, I do this mostly around targets. So I'll throw it up next to a piece of, you know, a piece of wood or by a dock or something, and I'll, you know, work it. But you got to make sure that these baits are just real tight to either cover or the bank. If you're away from it, if you're not going to get bit. If it's just out over open water, unless they're schooling, and even the schooling fish has a haven't been that good on the top water so um, make sure you get it up on the bank or right up next to a piece of cover you know standing timber lay down stuff like that if you can find it in the water so to to go to my next point um, if you're going to be fishing shallow chatter bait is a really good bait right now try to throw it around some of that you know those lay downs or trees and skip it up under dock stalls it's a really good way to get bit right now. I mean, like I said, you're gonna have to cover some water with it, but you're gonna get bit throwing a chatter bait right now, a good bait. Um, if you wanna throw a square bill, it's also a good way to catch them, but I've been throwing a chatter bait a little bit more right now than the, than the square bill. If you like feeling, if you like making sure that you're feeling the bottom, you can throw a football, football jig or a cover jig I like this one because you can skip it up under docks um, a lot of fish are relating to that cover since there's not a lot of good bank cover they're using those docks a lot as their cover so you can skip this up under those dock stalls and stuff like that the, the walkways and you'll be catching fish that way um, also drag them through some brush piles you'll get bit or you can just throw it in standing timber and just kind of drag it along the bottom um, you'll get bit that way if you if you don't want to throw something moving if you'd rather have that feel bait a jig is a really good thing to throw right now as well as a shaky head 
if you guys want to fish out deep, if you can't get in the shallow game going, there's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of spotted bass out over standing timber. You, you just have to look around. You'll go out either on a point or off the side of a point, um, off of, you know, bluff walls. There's going to be a lot of standing timber. There's going to be spotted bass in those trees and some good ones too. I mean, you will catch a, a lot of shorts. But there are some pretty decent spots out there, and the way I've been catching those has been throwing a, a, a drop shot. I mean, that's been my most consistent bite as far as catching a lot of fish has been the drop shot over timber. Um, you can also go out there and throw a swim bait. I've been getting less bites on the swim bait over the timber, but you can catch them on it as well as a fluke. So if you can get that fluke down a little bit, you can throw them over those treetops and catch them. So uh, just go down there, get your head down and grind because it's gonna it's gonna be a grind. I mean, you're gonna have some days that are really, really good, but you just gotta cover a lot of water and fish what your strengths are. And if you like to be deep, throw the drop shot. If you like to be on the bank, a top water is crucial this time of the year. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.